Hello everybody and welcome back to Provis Gaming and more EU4, Mandate of Heaven playing as Japan. And in the last video, we beat up the Ottoman and took a fair chunk of Arabia, which is pretty cool. Now, I'm not going to go to war quite yet. I know uh, some people are probably like, oh, go kill Oman and all these other people. You've got a whole bunch of people you can kill now. Well, that's certainly true, but... I think we wait a little bit longer because very soon, namely in a few months, we will unlock something very fun. You may have heard of it. It's called imperialism. And with it, I think I'm going to murder Brunei. Take all their islands, take what we can. Native assimilation in Chilo. Mm, okay. Uh, for that, though, we're going to need to get some armies together. Um, I got a couple relatively strong armies not too far away. These guys are black flagged still? I thought I moved them out a long time ago. All right, go over here. Go over there. So, let's see. Uh, these transports, go over here for now. I'll take the heavy as well. I do typically move my transports and heavies along together as kind of an escort. Trade ships I often kind of leave alone. That way they are not slowed down by any of the slower ships. Since trade ships are, after all, the fastest of the bunch. But yeah. Mm, getting capped out on Diplo power again, eh? Mm, okay. Well, I think we do one more level of mercantilism then. We save the rest. Hmm. With imperialism, what kind of things could we do? What fun things could we do? You know, here's one thing that's certainly useful. Now that we're up to 100 mandate and we have all of the reforms, we don't need to worry too much about having non-tributaries. It would be perfectly acceptable to me to start leaving some people of their tributary duty. Like Liang, for example. I'm going to go ahead and cancel that. Now, granted, I'm aware that I get less power as a result, but they're someone that I'm going to want to kill. After all, they have a lot of proper China. So I want to take that. Shogun, we've converted some more people. Unified China. We have to cast a spell, but we have a truce timer, so it's not going to matter for a little while. Thanks anyway, though. Uh, Austria declared war on Brittany. Well, I imagine that's just for one province. No big deal. When Austria has imperialism, this is going to get kind of scary pretty quick. It's um, a very consolidated Europe. I'm not accustomed to seeing a very consolidated Europe. Australian separatists. Ottoman Australian separatists? Uh-oh. Okay. Hmm. Admittedly, I wasn't expecting that. Okay, so I guess we need to get a general in charge and move you, let's say, down toward Australia because apparently... They don't like being a part of Chisai Nihon, so I'm going to have to put them down for them because I don't expect my colonial nation is prepared for anything quite of that magnitude. Lanshang declared war on Koch. Kok. Whatever it is. People sampling new religions. Let them. I'm not going to take the tech cost modifier right now. Did I just die? I think I did. People sampling new religions again? Let them. She was really to set pirate. Kill pirates. Good. Uh, revolt. I have... No, my heir? Uh-oh. Oh, God, thank God. I have an heir. I was really worried, because isn't my guy infertile? Yes, he is, but thankfully we already have another heir. He's ten years old, a little young. A 320 sucks. But I was a little worried for a second that we had no heir, and that was about to become very, very awkward. All right, there's the Ottoman Australian Separatists. They fired in a different spot. That's no problem. Just dock up right here. We can kill those. Decay of the examination system. Lose meritocracy. Well, that sucks. What, do we lower our standards? Lower our SAT scores? I'm not a fan of that at all. Hey, guess what time it is? It's January 1st. And on January 1st, let it be known that I first measured the world and got some administrative efficiency and development efficiency. I also developed the advanced castes bellies and unlocked client states. We also have a global settler increase, which is quite nice. So there we go. And we also went for light cavalry. Asian dragoons. Military tactics, cavalry shock, and flanking range. Quite strong. All right. So, everybody. The time has freaking come. Nationalism. Against everybody of a Japanese culture group. And apparently there are a lot of them. Imperialism against pretty much everybody in the world. They would be better off in our glorious empire. This is the point of the game. Where now we are able to just, you know, declare war on anyone 
indiscriminately. It's just unlimited power. Robber Barons. Xin Wong's Merchant Guilds. Eh, who do you want to make happy? Can we demand power? Not quite. Let's see. Global Settlers. Generals. Ministers. When do we get to demand support? Not for ten more years. Okay. Um, let's recruit a minister for you. And I guess we probably could reduce the influence of the merchant guilds. Satsuma. I don't think it matters too much what we do, to be honest. Taxes are technically better. I'm going to go with this one. There we go. Disloyal estates in our country. Well, there's not really much I can do to make them happy right now. We're just going to have to live with that for a little while. That's fine. We're filthy rich. Who cares? All right. So now we've dealt with that. Why don't you guys come over this direction? We are going to go and land over here. Then we'll pick up a new army. Uh, this one in Ayutthaya will probably do just fine. But, you know, let's go ahead and move you guys out to the coast instead. Dooby doo doo ba doo doo. Portugal declared war on some more people. Speaking of Portugal, you know what else I'm going to do is I'm going to start spying on Portugal. And I'm going to try to threaten war and take some land again because I don't like that they have a presence down here. And that's a whole mess of cores out of the way. Ah, good lord, so many. Okay, so we still have a bit of unrest in a few places. Probably most of the Ottomans that want to fire in Yemen and so on. You guys come up here. We're gonna pick these troops up and let's just say here. The guy Chow. I don't know. And there we go. Oh, that's not what I expected. Right, wrong island. Okay, well, let's go pick these guys up. Oops. General in charge here. Thank you. Come here. They're gonna they're gonna siege it down, but there's nothing I can really do about it at the moment. Let's see. Pyongyang. Alright, we'll go ahead and convert the Mahai Mahayana. The heck is Mahayana? I'm guessing it's technically considered a Buddhist heresy in the game. Ottoman's no longer a valid rival. Really? I am at 100 percent power projection, it's true. Well, if I had a diplomat, I would probably relieve you. Of your embargo. But because I don't like you, I'm going to say no. Visiting a shrine? Sure. Take the power as usual. Skadoosh. Thank you. Okay. We'll siege this back down. There's the Ottoman Separatists. They did fire in Mecca. Well, they're not going to last long in Mecca. Goodbye. Okay. That was easy enough. And they're done. Let's go to Katapang. Okay. Dock up. So... Somebody here has no friends. So sad for you, Brunei. Oh, intercolonial trade. Uh, sure, game mercantilism. So what this means is we finally get to test out our brand new Casas Belle. And it is called... Imperialism! Confirm. Done. Thank you. Oh, oh I've been waiting to do that for so long. I mean, it's never going to be that loud again, but seriously, oh, oh, it feels so good. It feels so good to be able to say that. Uh, that's been a thing I've done since, I don't know, my Russian campaign? Is that how early it's been since my Russian campaign? Or was it, um, I don't know, how many other campaigns have I done? Let's see, I did the Scotland, Russia, Venice, Ethiopia. Maybe it was during the Venice campaign that I started doing that. I don't know, somewhere down the line, I just started yelling imperialism every time. And it got louder and crazier. Think like Jesse Cox and it's time for Fan Friday thing and how he just keeps getting it bigger and scarier every time. Yeah, that's basically what it is. Imperialism against Norwegian West Indies. Norway? What? I never hear Norway do anything like that. Anyway. So yeah, I'm happy. That just made my week right there. Revoke the embargo. Don't need that now. Oh, Brunei. Oh, hi, Brunei. Bye, Brunei. Oh, please don't lose. Please roll well. Thank you. We win. Can't go to this fort. Yes, I can. I can go to this fort. 
Why do I have to go through the wasteland in order to get to this fort? I don't know, but I don't have enough men. Coach is no longer able to send us the right kind of tribute because they have been weakened by Lan Shang. Good Lord, Lan Shang. You have been allowed to move unchecked for way too long. I'm definitely going to have to murder you. Definitely going to have to. Oh, good grief. Where are you going now? Imperialism against the 13 colonies. Colony has become self-sustaining. Self Down over here. Let's go ahead and start the next one. Actually, first mission. Improve relations with Arakan. Sounds fine. Uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and move here next. Okay, so after that is done, that should be a new colonial nation. Done and out of the way. And I might start colonizing a bit of Siberia because, uh, you know, eventually we're going to have to do that, right? Whoop, hello. Ships. Let's go and defend Chisai Nihon. Or, nope, seems they ran away. Hmm, all right. Never mind. Let's go work on their forts. Poor government policies. I will lose the money, absolutely. Convert the animists. Okay. Brittany has been annexed. Yemeni separatists fired. And were almost promptly stomped. Ottomans will cede three provinces to Hungary, five provinces to Poland. Good. All right, so the Ottomans should start uh, losing a lot of power going forward. They've kind of fallen for gra from grace at this point. We should be able to put down the rest of Arabia, no trouble whatsoever. How are we looking in India? Pretty good, considering. And I need this army to kind of reinforce a little bit faster. You know what? Forget that fort. We're not making any progress. Siege down here. And you know what? Forget Cebu. Just go for their capital. We'll deal with them later. For now, please just reinforce. You're a little bit too weak. Oh, great. Someone else declared war on Brunei. Peachy. Royal marriage offer. Okay. You know what? You go over here and pick up these troops because, well, I think we're going to need more, to be honest with you. It's starting to feel like I'm getting a little outnumbered here. Where are you landing? No, no, no. You're not allowed to take any land here, guys. Ah. <sighs> Lan Shang decided to send no tributes, huh? Well, that doesn't sound very nice. Yeah, they're going to try to siege this stuff down. Freaking... These guys have been opportunistic. Every time I've tried to declare a war in the area, they've always tried to jump on it. Every dang time, and I'm getting really irritated by that. Transport, land some troops. Is this a fort? No. Split, go here. Don't let them take the coast. There's the Ottoman Australians. They did fire up again in Chisai Nihon. This time, I think Chisai Nihon is on their own until I've dealt with my own wars. Uh, Brunei, you want to stomp on these guys? By all means, go for it. Okay. Um. Hmm. They're unseaging my stuff for me, which is interesting. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey now, Brunei. I don't think I much appreciate that. This is why I was saying I think I might need some more troops. I'm starting to get a little bit outnumbered. Yeah, let's go here now. I'm just going to have to retreat from these guys for a little bit. That's fine. Go over there. Whoop! Black news indeed. Lady Regency, I died! Okay, so now my wife, a 404, has become in charge. She is an expansionist. 15 global settler increase. All right. My son is only about four years away from coming of age, though, so we'll be fine. Do I need to invest in another stability? I would say no, not right now. Probably not. So you go to this fort. You guys sit back. You guys just lost your fight to Sunda. Unseige my land for a little bit. Sieging everything down. I'm not going to be able to take all of Brunei now, thanks to these losers. Freaking idiots. Tell you what, I'm getting really kind of annoyed that my uh, tributaries are all feeling very bold. They're getting a little bit too big for their britches. I'm going to have to start breaking a bunch of them off. Break their little fingers. All right. So yeah, let's deal with these forts. He's going to go jump on this. Looks like he's going to lose. Diplomatic reputation, foreign contacts is done. Colonize something. What the heck is this? Oop. Kawe... Scar. Well, I would... I'd love to know what it was, if your camera thing would work. There it is. This one down here, huh? 
Well, I wasn't really planning on helping Chili once it's done, but I guess I could do that. Alright. We'll help him out. Japanese La Plata is what it's going to be called. I know. Alright, Portugal. I need to get a claim against you. Fabricate a claim on this one, Palembang. We'll also fabricate a claim on the other one as soon as that is done. Can I threaten you with a war now? Do 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 to well not when I'm at war. Never mind. Gonna have to wait on that for a little bit. Combination with the natives. All right. So these guys are getting fixed up pretty nicely. There's just nothing for me to do right now, unfortunately. Soon does decided to mess some stuff up. Recall with Arakan. Hmm. I'm not really sure what else I can do at this point. I just kind of have to wait. Just sit back and wait for these stupid forts. Yay, my favorite part of the game. Kukunai Tochi brought more stuff. And Brunei is trying yet again. And it is not working very well. Good lord, we make so much money. It's almost sickening, isn't it? Almost. Let's build a university here. Um, build one over here, I guess. Here. I'll go ahead and build one up here in um, the Philippines anyway. Why not? People sampling new religions. This time, I'm going to reverse course, because I already took all the tech. So I know that we're not going to get any penalty. And in the meantime, more missionary strength can be useful. Royal marriage offers. These guys have been trying for so long to be my friend. And I'm just not having it. I'm just, I'm just not having it. So, wait. Did you just end your war? Because it seems like you might have. You did, and you took nothing? Well, I admit that I wasn't really expecting that. Huh. I'm gonna send half the troops this way, and leave the other half here. Because I know he's got a he's got a mind for jumping on suicidal fights. British Louisiana. Looks like the British are actually uh, working over there. Let's lower unrest for a little bit. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not really paying a lot of attention. I'm trying to focus on the first ever imperialism war, and I'll admit it's not going quite as well as I think I was hoping. Let's grab a couple of infantry. Leave them over there. Convert some more. Thank you. Prepared war on Tlaxcala. Go here. Okay, so we have our reinforcements. Just need to take that capital. Imperialism against Newfoundland and New Portugal. They'd be better off in our glorious empire. Bukhara. Blah, 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 blah. Please take the dang forts. Oh, the classic of music, gain mandate, means nothing to me. Nothing, I tell you. We can actually... Ah! No! Oh, God. I didn't think he could go there, to be honest. I actually thought for some reason... For some reason... I thought that there was like a zone of control thing, but no. I'm going to lose those men. Oops. Gosham Rakrama. Okay. Take the fort! Freaking heck! <laughs> oh, that's frustrating. Alright, go here. Yes, yes, Brunei. I'm sure you'd like out of this. So that's another colony done. End of internal conflicts. Portugal. We have another colony we have to do down here in order to finish our mission. And they're jumping on us again. God! Okay, I'm getting really sick of this whole speed 5 thing. It's kind of proving a problem for me. I'm going to lose men if I'm not being careful. And I'm not being careful. So, yeah, let's back up there. Alright, getting capped out on power. Can we take any more states? Nope. Really would have loved to have had more states. Could instead boost up our stability preemptively since we're getting capped out. How are we doing on inflation? Eh, let's pay down the inflation instead for now. Okay, these guys are getting together. So now Brunei doesn't have any easy targets. They're going to go marching around and trying to unseage some stuff while I get the forts, hopefully. Uh, speaking of my... Well, where's my navy? There you are. Where, where are you? Oh, I can't see them behind these guys. Okay, get up here. And blockade, I think their port is right here, technically. So yeah, let's blockade that, make that go by a little bit faster. Truce with the Aang has ended. Good! That means I can start using the Castus Belly against them. Oh, don't you dare come after me here. Gosh, how many times can I miss a 49% uh, siege chance? I mean, for real. 
This is just an, oh my god. It's supposed to be a 50-50 chance. We have a 3-2-0 as our Shogun now. It's not very good. But who knows, Lan Shang is declaring war on more people. God, stop it, freaking. We have an idea cost reduction. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that, but we have it. All right, you know what, screw it. Grab the uh, stability, since we have the power sitting around. Freaking take the gosh dang fort. Oh my god! That's it. Overwhelm them with sheer numbers. Take the damn fort. Thank you. God. That is annoying. All right, admirals are concerned. Military tech cost? Yes. For 10 years. All right, so you guys march as a unit. Go kill. You guys go this way. We'll head him off if we can. Actually, I don't know. He's probably coming around this way, isn't he? I'm gonna go freaking ring around the rosy on this guy. Silentese separatists have fired. That's fine, we can handle that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's fine, just cut him off on both sides. There's nothing he can do. He is very dead. All we have to do is just wait until these people get here. No, no, no. No, no, no. You stay there. And there we go. Now we can dogpile. Squish. Freaking squish! Chase him down. Okay, you guys go, I don't know, this way. Ooh, hello, peasants. And that should be a stack wipe. Yep, alright. Now we're good to go. So, I'm thinking we want to go ahead and uh, full annex these guys if we can. They're not going to get their capital back. Poor Vintage, lose prestige. The house of Arisugu Ar 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 Arisugawa. There we go. Local missionary strength loss. No. A 5-2-2 air Nagahito, yes, thank you, and a 5-3-3 lady. What this means now is that I hope I die so that I can have a consort regency for a while. All right, 99% war score. This should be plenty, right? What a pain. That was way more annoying than I think I was expecting it to be. Take all of this. That's only 72% war score instead of the 117 it was supposed to be before. Take his islands. Is that everything you own? Yes, that is a full annexation war deal. We'll take your money. You don't have much to begin with. No treaties matter. And that is the end of Brunei. Okay. So there we go. Now with the exception of the Spanish islands, and a little bit of Portugal and Sunda, we now own pretty much the entirety of this region of the world. That's awesome. Core everything. Everything must be cored. Mm okay. One more we can't get right now. This one, I think. I'm going to leave the armies here for now. I think. Uh, keep these guys together. Okay. I'm going to send this navy over to Arabia. Because I don't think these guys are a problem anymore at this point. Mandurian? Where is this? Tiru. Ah, this one right here. Okay, so this is the only other place where we should have any rebels. So now we can start moving our troops around to a few other places. And we could kill Liang if we need to. Now granted, I don't know if the Unify Ca China cast a spell matters much to me anymore. Could very well be that Imperialism is just objectively better in every possible way. Wouldn't surprise me. I'm going to go ahead and kill this island real quick, by the way, while they're independent. It's just a one province minor. Shouldn't be much of a threat. Let's just get the ships together. What's this? These transports apparently are in the wrong province. There we go. Alright, you guys. Hi. How's it going? Let's split you. Half of you protect trade in Beijing. And the other half of you protect trade in California, I think. We'll protect our ships. Alright, you're in good shape. Let's get a general in charge. You'll do fine. Uh, capped out on power despite all those cores? Wow, that's downright impressive. We could construct the Forbidden City. It will cost me all of my money and some power. But yearly prestige and stability cost modifiers, not half bad. That is a lot of money. We're going to do it anyway. Okay. And by the way, for some reason I was thinking I was capped on admin power. It's this Diplo power again. Promote mercantilism. There we go. Alright, so, you guys are going to be going over here, 
We can do an imperialism war against them real quick. Come here. Declare war. Imperialism! There you go. Go here. This will be a very quick little war. Very quick. Just grab a quick little set of islands. No big deal. There you go. Squish. And siege you down. And another general has died. Gosh dang it all. I never get lucky with those generals. Either that or the game just goes by so fast and now I just... It just feels like they all die so fast. Alright, sue for peace. You got any money? You got a little bit of money. Thank you. And that's the end of that. Okay, we're going to core you next. Cool, cool. Um, so, Portugal, I want to threaten war, right? Give me this. Thank you. They will accept. See? Look how easy that was. We have a lot of, um... We have a lost spy network on these guys. Can I fabricate your last one? Oops. I need to support rebels right now. Benka. This I will take. Thank you. We could steal maps from you. You know what? I'm going to steal your maps. Can I steal maps about, like, Canada? Actually, we have most... Do you have anything on the Hudson Bay? No. Ah, eh, never mind. I'll just spy on them a little bit longer and support some rebels or something. I don't know. So we can actually see a lot more of what's going on over here. Looks like the 13 colonies are actually doing quite well. Uh, Portuguese. New Portugal. Okay, taking a bit of Florida and stuff. New Louisiana. The 13 colonies is in Florida. British Louisiana. Newfoundland. No one's taken Greenland, interestingly enough. Can't imagine why you wouldn't do that. I wonder if I should start a colony up here. <laughs> what's this? Norwegian West Indies. Hello. Huh. You know, I could just start declaring a bunch of wars on the natives and feed them off to Kogane Tochi and stuff like that if I wanted to. Could do that. Not going to, but could. Well, yeah, anyway. Yeah, we see a lot more of the world, actually. And it's looking pretty darn good, if you ask me. Pretty darn good. Alright, you guys are looking pretty balanced. Keep the three of you together. Uh, in the meantime, go to... Ah, let me see. We still have peasants to kill, so why don't you go kill them? You guys go up here to the jungle. You guys go to, let's say, here? Oh, good grief. What's the highest development? Cebu has quite a bit. Go there. 37. It's probably going to be the capital where they fire. I'm pretty confident, pretty confident that the rebels are going to fire at some point. But that should be fine. Lan Shang took even more freaking land. All right. All right, Len Chang, you and I, seriously, we need to have a talk, because this is not going to work out for very long. I'm just saying. Um, I can't really tolerate what you're doing right about now. Can't really tolerate it, buddy. <sighs> At some point, I need to cancel their tributary status and just murder them. At some point. Not right now, but at some point, that would be good. All right, there go the peasants. Okay, you guys go over here. We are going to go kill Liang next. Liang, do you have any allies? Nope. No friends means you are a very easy target. Out of curiosity. So imperialism. 75% aggressive expansion, prestige, and cost. Unified China is actually a little bit better. Just as far as cost and aggressive expansion and so on. Huh. That's interesting. Maybe we actually do still want to do the Unified China cast Spelly. It actually is still pretty darn potent, even at this point in the game. If, you know, we haven't taken all of China. Yeah, look at us. We have, like, all this area figured out. We just have we have to kill one more Portuguese province and take these guys down. I could remove them as a tributary. Are they paying me any power? Yeah, they are. I mean, at some point, I'm kind of hesitant to keep uh, getting rid of everybody that offers me power, you know? I like power. Power is still good. Anyone else want to be a tributary? Yeah, Liang would love to. I understand that. Oman would love to. Okay. Sirigo Gear, no. Any large nations down here? La Plata. Hmm. Certainly something we could do. Then again, I kind of plan on feeding you off to whatever this new nation is going to be. So I don't know. I'm not really sure that I see much point. And most of these guys are relatively small. Charka? Charka we could do. Charka, you can be my tributary. Now, can you give me power? 
Yes! Three power. Alright, I'll take it. Why not? More heretics have been converted. Good. How's the faith looking? Pretty good. We've almost finished converting this entire area. That's good at the very least. Uh, when I do the final um, epilogue playthrough timeline video, once I finish this campaign out, I'm afraid that the Shinto faith is not going to look all that impressive. Oh, we can finally core this. Good. Okay. So those are now ready to go. And of course, we still have to convert the uh, province that we took from Portugal. I nearly forgot about that. But all right. I think we need to end this video here. Next video, I think we go kill Liang. Start unifying more of China. Because now that we have imperialism, this is the golden age of massive expansion for Japan. That's what we are going to do. We're going to start pushing to conquer all of Asia if I can. Um, we're going to sabotage the reputations of Portugal as well for fun. All right, there we go. So yeah, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, then be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. Look forward to more imperialism, and I will see you guys next time. <laughs>